welcome back to the vlog. I've decided people aren't taking social distancing serious enough. And I'm going to change that. I'm going to make a quarantine hat so that... That rhymed. Dr. Seuss. Hi. Okay, I'm going to make a quarantine hat so that... No one... Will be within six feet of me at any time. So let's get started. Uh. For these materials, you're going to need a plastic bag that will fit your head. So if you're a man, use a gallon size. If you're a child, use a snack size. It's that simple. Also, you will need some straws. Just kill the turtles. Frick them. Assassinate them. <laughs> And you'll also need some aluminum foil just to make sure that the corona doesn't come anywhere near you. Now let's get started with symbol. So I'm going to take, oh this is a quart size, so I don't know if that's going to work, it doesn't really fit my head, but that's okay. If, um, if your bag doesn't fit your head, you just rip it open like that and now it fits your head. Oh god, now it looks like I'm gonna kill the turtles. Okay, well, you'll just poke that down. There we go, so now that we have the basis of our hat, you're going to take your aluminum foil and just like encircle your head like two times. That's good. Now, to make sure that it fits your head right, uh -oh. tighten it, and then just like that. Now, you look super freaking cool. Get that out of the way. Slide that off my head. Now I have the perfect hat. Now that you have your hat, you're going to start putting together your straws. So I don't know if y'all did this whenever y'all were younger, but I would put these together in restaurants and I would embarrass my mom and put my drink on the ground and like it'd be a long straw so the way that i'm doing this is i'm taking the straw and i'm like bending it in half and then bending it in half again and then it's so tiny it just fits into the hole of the other straw so yeah just keep doing that until they're six feet long Mathematically, I have figured out that. Mathematically, I figured out that um, seven straws equals six feet. So, put seven straws together like that. But, yeah. Okay, so I finished making my getawayers. So I was using like these straws, but then I started using these and like, I don't know if you can see, but like these are bigger and they're like thicker around and so they stay better. You know what they say, the thicker the better. Bam. Yes. 
just like that. What I need to do is make a base and I'm gonna put all of my straws in it. So the two sticky sides, it'll be sticky and sticky, but they'll be like this. And then we're gonna put the straws in between them and it's gonna be like a Venus flytrap, like, <laughs> like that. I just did a hamburger fold. How stupid. I'm gonna be a genius and put some plastic. Actually, you know what's even more smart? Doggy sticking it back. It's so freaking awesome. So now that we have our bouquet, we are going to stick it in our bag. I'm starting um, about four inches away from the base. This is gonna look awesome. I want somebody to. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a joke. Jordan. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Stay back. Awesome. <laughs> it's a quarantine hat. I told you how you were going to make this. I don't like that's going to keep you away from you. You got to see it all stood up. Okay. Where's our phone? <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I don't want to get coronavirus and you are protecting me. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Do you have coronavirus? Do you like my hat? Mm -hmm. You like it? Do you like it, William? Do you like it? Yes, it's quite unique. Back to the experiment room. I give this craft 7 out of 10 stars only because one of my repellents flew off. Also, it made my forehead sweat or my five head sweat, because everyone's talking. It was very comfortable though. It stayed on very well because it was molded to my head. It was like. Well, now it flew off. I give this seven out of 10 stars because it was kind of hard to make. It took me like 30 minutes and a lot of freaking straws, like, these straws were kind of expensive. Like, I'm pretty sure it was like a dollar. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know. And it was just kind of like a waste. It's like. I didn't work. That just hurt my head. I can't go around just wearing this. Actually, that's kind of stylish. Well, it worked. Nobody got too close to me, partially because I looked retarded. But it was fun. So, bye, vlog. <laughs> <laughs>